I'm gonna clap. <laughs> All right. What's what am I what am I introing? Intro at? us uh, and what we're gonna talk about, yep. and then go into talking about it. Okay. Hi teams, we're, we are fans of RI3D, and we're back uh, for a post mortem of our <laughs> RI3D season. It's been about 74 hours almost since kickoff, uh, kickoff at 12 on this past Saturday. And, and this is where we're at. This is Ham. Ham is the name of our robot. Um, he's a lovely boy. He is not particularly functional, and we'll get into all the details of that. Um, why don't we start with our climbing mechanism? So we went very, very simple, very silly this year. We have a hook. We have a winch. That's, that's all there really is to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, this hook happens to be Velcroed onto the back of our elevator system here uh, so that we can raise it up to that chain and the end game, and then it will come off. That way the elevator itself isn't supporting the whole weight of the robot because it's not strong enough for that, uh, and, and we'll get into that. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much all it is. We're running that with a sim down here. I believe we're using a 100 to 1 gear ratio, which I have heard is not a supported gear ratio. Yes. So probably don't use that, provided I'm right and it's not supported. I believe, I believe the highest one supported officially supported is 50 to 1 on the sim from Vex in their yeah. like spec sheet. So, you know, probably look into that and, and make sure you're not doing things. We've used this before and it has worked for us before. Um, it is literally the same exact motor and gearbox that we have used in past years. Yep. So we figured it would be fine. You should probably test it and do something a little bit better thought out than we did. Yep. Uh, anyways, over to Dom and Claws. Yeah. Yeah. So the claw system uh, is pretty simple. It's just, uh, we have had this in the past, but this is a pretty simple shape. You could do this, I mean, ideally you do it on like a laser cutter or something um, with like a thinner, well, not necessarily a thinner metal, but um, you could either laser cut this, CNC it, um, or just like vertical bandsaw, if that's all you got, and just, you know, use some skillful hands. Um, but yeah, as John mentioned, it's um, Velcroed on, so we have the, um, I believe these are the, are these the hooks or the loops? What do you, oh, oh of the tape? Of the tape. I that's think the hooks. This is the hooks. So the, hooks. the spiky part is on this. I said Velcro, but that's trademarked. Velcro is trademarked. Sorry. Um, now, we're, now we're gonna get in trouble. Yeah, um, yeah. I got sued um, already, so. <laughs> But, uh, and then the loops are over here, and so this just kind of sits on. Um, it's probably about like a two inch by two inch area of Velcro or so, um, and that, that was enough. We sort of did some unscientific testing of just like shaking it around a bunch and like, you know, simulating getting bumped. So it shouldn't come off over the course of a match, but of course you may end up needing a different system. Um, maybe something like actuated with an actual latch on it so that it can't come off, but. We'd we recommend not. a more robust system. A more robust system would probably be advisable, but you might be able to get away with this. Um, and then, yeah, it's just, um, I mean, this is all very simply made. And then it's just got this uh, paracord. Make sure you're using paracord that's rated for the weight of your robot. So I don't think we actually know what the rating on this one is, but it's over 120 it pounds. Me. It does lift John, who is definitely heavier than any FRC legal robot. Um, sorry, that was, I didn't, the definitely was maybe <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Um, uh, that's, yeah. that's pretty much all there is with our climb. Pretty much. Uh, and then we have the 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 the, the claw. Or oh, are we going to talk about the elevator first? You want to we'll talk about the elevator? We'll do the elevator first. But it is it is in the progression of forward. Yeah, Anyways, yeah. Uh, our elevator system is really bad. Don't yeah. use it. Yeah. Do not use it. Well, don't use this version of it. You could you couldn't this. make an elevator. You can make an elevator. This bad. This You'll is not. You'll notice a good that elevator. there is a lot of tape. There is cardboard. Don't use this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Only part to take away from this, maybe this fun little uh, yeah, little, little decoration, little, little decoration, you know, pipe cleaner, pipe cleaners. Those are always fun. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's, let's talk. Well, let's talk first. Then. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the idea behind this elevator was very simple. We wanted to be able to pick up game pieces from the ground over the bumper and then score them in the amp, which would also have to be over the bumper. And so we thought, okay, we have to raise something vertically without moving it horizontally. And so elevator systems are really good at that. Unfortunately, we made that decision about, I don't know, 20 hours of building ago. Yeah, but like Sun Sunday night, like, like late was, Sunday night. It was after our Sunday night stream, yep. which uh, made things a little bit more difficult yep. because we put an extra time constraint, yep. not to mention we were rather limited with materials as well. Yep. Uh, you may notice that on the sides of these uh, two by one uprights, there are some <laughs> old tape that is stuck on which causes our elevator carriage to stick yeah and we are using uh more paracord and another winch down here run by a neo instead of uh, a more 
robust system. I mean, that's say. that's actually I would say that's a that's a portion of this I, I could actually endorse. That, using. that actually is fine. It's, it's it's not bad. The way that we have it like routed up here isn't great. Like yeah. the fact that we're using this isn't great. Yes. The fact that this isn't like aligned and in yeah. let's say uh, like brackets. Yeah. I think brackets. Rollers or rollers. Yeah, that's sort of, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Rollers would probably be much more advisable than cardboard. Yep. Uh, keep it in the exact configuration that you want. As it is now, it can shift. Which is suboptimal, yes. to say the least. Correct. So, so please, teams, don't don't do exactly what we did here. Yeah. It might work a little, but it probably won't work well. Um, we've tested a little bit to very limited success. Yeah. So I say the the I mean, the power system I think is good as as we discussed. Um, the yeah. only thing would be getting like an actual elevator kit or something. I mean, you can design your own in-house elevator. That's a little bit more involved, but there's plenty of like off-the-shelf like elevator kits where there's actual grooves and there's rollers and there's like tracks where this yep. sits in um, and it's just a whole, it, it runs much smoother than this does. Probably uses actually perfectly square things instead yes. of <laughs> Correct. whatever the world Correctly machined here. things yeah. versus a Don't look too closely this special. at teams. Um, okay, was that everything for the elevator? Uh, I think that's it for the elevator. Oh, uh, we should mention, so the, um, the, drive, the drive for this elevator, so on the Neo, it's just a three, three to one, Versus Planetary Gearbox. Um, we just have the SIM adapter, which you can use with the Neo. That was something we found out, actually. This was our first year using any brushless motors, um, and so we weren't quite sure how they were going to interact with all of the existing Versa Planetary stuff, but you, it turns out you can just use the exact same SIM adapter as you would use for a, an actual SIM. Shout out to Neos. Um, so, yeah. Cool motors. Very cool. Yep. Um, claw time. Claw time. Who's right. excited? I'm excited for this the claw. This is probably the best and worst part of the robot. And worst? I say worse just because I'm disappointed with the current angle that it's hanging at. That is true. That that's more of a function of the elevator, though. Like this is yeah. this mounting is not, and that's that's something that would be easier with an actual elevator kit. Is usually you have some sort of. I know there's like 80, 20 elevators out there, and you could use something that would be. Um, 80, 20. 80, 20. Yeah, exactly. Like John's yeah. got right here. Yeah. Um, but so that yeah, it's not mounted great. But if you hold it up um, like this, you know, you can see the the idea. So the actually I've got the note. Give ourselves a cheerio. Um, actually, can we get somebody to actuate the robot? Do we, have, we, that, we have that technology? Here, let me put my safety glasses Please don't on. accidentally. Oh. Okay. Just put, just, uh, who moved the claw up? Ah, Kay. it worked. And then down. Oh. And then this is kind of the idea. First try. And then let me move this box out of the way. And so ideally, right, it's, you pick it up like this off the floor and then it kind of hangs down and then. As you lift it up. Um, as you lift it up, which is the other kind of disappointing part about this is it doesn't actually get to the real uh, amp height because of... Well, if you let it go, you can see. It well, that too, but this, is, this isn't this is even the actual... No, no, that's pretty close. Uh, yeah. This this would be closer. The other the other yeah, problem with this we is like this, here if, this, if this carriage can move all the way up, then this would be at the correct yeah. height. Yeah. Um, so that's another design flaw with the elevator, just to add to the list. Oops. Um, but yeah, and then basically the idea is this would kind of hang down a little bit because as it picks up off the floor... Actually, Arnav, you want to roll this all the way to the floor? Or here, release the Cheerio first. Okay, and then move the elevator all the way to the floor. There we go. So this is supposed to, Adam, can you see that on the screen? Okay. Um, so this is supposed to kind of come up into here, and then can you close the claw? And then you kind of drive backwards, and then can we lift up? And then as you lift up, the Cheerio, okay, stop, that's good. Um, as you lift up, the Cheerio kind of hangs in this position, and you can deliver it into the uh, amp that you see we have very well made. Um, it goes into that sort of opening nice and easily. And then, actually, yeah, here we can try and release it, <laughs> maybe. If we give ourselves... No, right now, it's, it's like not. zero inches between the two pieces of cardboard, which there we is go. not regulation. Yeah. That actually worked remarkably well. That actually did. If you ignore the part where you were holding it. Where I did hold it, but that's okay. That, that would just be a simple design change on the claw. You could just make it a little bit less hooked in. Yep. Um, yep. Either way. But yeah, and then I guess let's talk about the, the power system for the claw. Um, yeah. So as you can see, we've got a Neo 550, so like the, the little brother of the, um, of the, big, the, the big Neo. Mm -hmm. And the great part about this is, um, is it's a little bit hard for Adam to see. Here, let's, can we turn the robot a little bit? A little turn? Yeah, let's there go this. Um, so you can see it's an outrunner, so like the whole housing of the motor spins as this goes on, um, which is nice because that means these mounting holes on the outside they spin, and so we don't need to have any sort of. I mean, you could use the the shaft over here if you really wanted, um, but you don't need to. You can just what we, do what we did, bolt directly to um, the the housing on the outside, um, and that's just driven by 
Uh, my Spark Max, it's mounted here because we don't have any extension cables for the uh, like sensor wires that are right here. Mm -hmm. If you had that, you could you know run those with the rest of the cables that we've got here and just run it all the way down. But I mean, there's space for it here and it doesn't have to go on the electrical board. So not really that big of a, of a deal. And I know plenty of other teams. Is that real? Do, do other teams like mount their Spark Maxes? I think my team has done it before. Yeah. So that seems like you don't have to mount them on the electrical board. And sometimes it's actually nicer for like diagnosing issues if the motor controller is like right next to the motor because you know, oh, that motor controller goes to that motor. Yeah. Um, I think that's most of what we want to talk about. Yeah, I think so. Um, everything else is, is very standard. Like the yep. drivetrain that we're using is the exact same drivetrain that we used last year. Yep. Uh, the control systems, control the systems are exactly the same. Uh, the most of the code the is same. exactly the same. Um, so go check out, we'll, we have videos on those uh, from last year, so we'll link those yeah. in, the, in the description of this video. But yeah, go check those out for a, a good explanation of sort of the thought process behind choosing a, a tank drive, um, the control system kind of overview, programming, all of the code I think will be, right Arnav, we're gonna put all the code in the GitHub? Uh, yeah. Okay, all the code, code will be on the GitHub. Um, so yeah, go there for example code. Um, did we end up doing April tags, Arnav, or no, did that not work out? No, we weren't able to get the tags. Okay. Yeah. So April tags aren't real. <laughs> well, they would be nice, um, and there's plenty of, of examples online. I'm, I'm sure out there. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any for you, but Very that smart. was definitely yeah. Limitation. Yep. All right. Any other? But it's all right. You know. It's Limitations all right. And that, have limitations. I'll say, and that's the thing is like you know you, we might look at this as a as a failure a little bit in terms of like we didn't make a robot that is like you know works playing the whole game plays the whole game. But it's all right. This is a hard game. Exactly. It's a very hard game. Difficult. Um, and yeah. you know that part of the engineering process is failing, right? We yeah. we only have time to kind of go through one iteration, but hopefully, you know, your team has time to you know make multiple prototypes of you know multiple different things and sort of um, try out a lot of different try out things. Fail fast, as as I like to say. Yeah, that's a big one. Fail fast. Fail fast. Fail fast. Exactly. All right. Should we like sign off? Uh, well, no, no, no. We have we have one more thing we want. We to have try one more do. thing. One more thing. We're going to see if the robot does, in fact, climb. Oh, that's right. We're going to show off the Which, one thing this to, robot to might be, be able to do. To be fair, <laughs> probably don't really need to do that. But no, eh, we don't. For our own vanity. But let's do it. Let's you know, do it. For our own. All right. Should we let it drive? Can we drive over yeah. there? OK, watch out, John. Yeah, yeah John, move over there. Or that works, too. I'll go this way. Clear. That's the hook. It's all right. We have professional drivers. Professional drivers, yeah. They've had a lot of time to practice. For stopping. I'm just kidding. That's a, that's a lie. Should I hold it? Should I hold like the the stool? You guys got it. There we go. Yeah. Look at right. go. Yeah, yeah. Bring the bring it down. Bring it down. Bring her down. You gotta help the elevator down. Okay, move forward a little bit. Yeah, nice. Okay, bring it down. Right. Oh. Why are we going down? Down, down, down. There we go. Okay, and then Drive forward a little bit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's there yeah. it is. Look at that. See the hook works. and loop tape never fails. Never fails. Never fails, except for when it does. We're good. We're good. We're good. That's fine. It's fine. And then the the winch is pretty slow because it's on 101. That's uh, this. That's the wrong way. Right. <laughs> hmm. All right. The the gearbox definitely does not work. Yep. Well. We learned something new today. Yep. Gearboxes are broke. It would climb, though. It would climb. Maybe. No. You know, it would. It would. I'll be honest it's with you. Good. Now that I'm looking at this, I have a feeling, it right? It I'm getting the feeling that what's actually going to happen here is that uh, this is just going to fall forward. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to go on this Yeah. Yeah. Well, you could put a weight back here. It'd be fine. More batteries. More batteries. <laughs> we did mount the climber uh, remarkably far back on the yeah, robot. Yeah. The With a front the heavy robot. This is they they, they, they robot. can't can, they cannot hear you, John. Give them give oh, them your mic. My bad, my bad. Lessons. The lesson for people watching this is if you want to have a winch climber, mount it near the center of your robot. Yeah. Or at least near the center of mass or gravity of your robot. Yes. That's a phenomenal yes. Actually there is there is a way we could have gotten around that, right? Because we, we don't lower, actually we need down? we don't need the winch at the center of mass. We just need uh, the the cable to be pulling from the center of mass. Right? So if we had, let's say, a bar here yeah, that the cable was going under in the center, right? Then it would be fine. Could you just that right No. 
Because there are no bars that would support the weight of the robot. <laughs> that, that you could one. pretend it's a bar. Yeah, if you pretend that, I mean, that one's still pretty far back because our robot's very front heavy. Sure. We'd need one that's probably where that churro is, and I don't want to trust that churro yep. for a lot of reasons. So, cool. yeah. All right. Something to consider, teams. Uh, center of mass, you know, physics. Ask your physics teacher about that. True. Yeah. All righty. I think Should we're we, I think we're out of here. Sign off. Yeah, I think that's Ben Fam's RA three D. Yep. We probably won't do a reveal because if we're being honest, the robot doesn't actually function very well. <laughs> and so it wouldn't look very good in a reveal type format. Unless we really decide we want to, in which case look out for that. But thank you so much for joining us. But yeah, and thank you. Good luck on your competition yes. season teams. Good luck this season. Good luck. Yeah. Bye. Bye.